Hey guys, welcome back to an episode of Create with Linda. So guys, I'm coming on because it is around 4.35 on Friday. And um, I went to the Dollar Tree. Haven't been there in a while and I just had a willy to go. And I had a vehicle. My son was home. So I'm like, can I take your car to the Dollar Tree? Felt like getting out of the house. Well, did I have fun? I didn't um, video in there because the music was on and it's just a pain in the butt to do that in there sometimes. Um, so I just bought stuff and I'll just show you what I got. I had a ball. I literally was in there about 45 minutes. I just took my time through every single aisle. Had fun, guys. So this is what I got. Okay. Um, I saw these at the end, okay? Let me turn these around, that would be nice. These right here, the Celeste pizzas, I mainly got these because they had sausage and pepperoni, which it's very hard for me to find them in the stores. I usually can only get them in ShopRite. So when I saw these, I said, let me get two of those, okay? I got these new... My son was telling me about these. He bought these at the food store, at the regular food store, and I saw them there. No, they weren't a dollar, of course. They're $3. But he says at the food stores, they're $4. So... I got three of these. One, I got four. Two buffalo-style chicken mac and cheese. And I got two of the chicken fajita bowls. Okay, yes, they have a lot of preservative. Yes, they're not that great in carbs. But once in a blue moon, I mean, for him and for me, it's an, it's an option. These were $3 in Dollar Tree, so I got three of these. Even though I just bought those pizza rolls from the grocery store. These are good to have in the fr uh, in the freezer downstairs for, a, you know, a quick pizza, a quick lunch or a quick dinner or whatever. So I got a four cheese, I got a Supreme, and I got a meat, a four meat. They were $3. Um, no, they were $4, usually like $5, $6, I think, in Walmart. I got four of the, of the mozzarella sticks. Those are really good. Jenny likes them. They're really good for Dollar Tree. I also saw they had hot dog rolls, and I needed hot dog rolls, so... I got those. Um, I got these tin foil trays here because when I give people leftovers, I like to have some stuff just to give them so they can take it and they don't have to worry about it. I got these kind of like, um, they're kind of like Cheez-Its for Jen. Um, I got these, um, I saw these there, um, the cheese and crackers. I got other ones at the food store today, but what happened was I had gotten the, the pepper jack cheese and Jenny won't eat those, so I saw these at the Dollar Tree, so I said, oh, I'll get these. So these are perfect for her to take for, for a snack, um, for a program. So I got two of those. I got one of the Wheat Thins, because I like Wheat Thins. I got those um, um, bag closer thingies. I got some veggie straws. I was looking at them. They're not really high in carbs. I got Cooper, some snacks. I got these for a little treat. Um, they're apple cinnamon baked puffs, guys. Oh my God, they're so good. Yes, they have sugar. Yes, they have carbs. But once in a while, don't judge me, guys. I got um, some extra paintbrushes that I needed. I got two things of um, walnuts. They're really good to snack on. Uh, I got Jenny barbecue chips. We got Cooper, another little, um, another um, treat back there. Um, I was looking for sugar-free candy. Ooh, I almost just fell. It's a joke. It's a joke. This is what they have. Big deal. Big, big deal. That was all I could get. So for once in a while, a little sugar-free candy. I got Jenny pretzels and crackers. Um, I got these again because I'm running out of these guys. These are a godsend. I love them when I can't find a cover for a Tupperware. This is so convenient. Love these. Try them out. I got this just to have in the house because you know you never know. I got tape. I got Jenny um, some scrunchies. I got two chapsticks because I know that season's coming up. My cha my lips have been chapped here and there. I know Jenny's going to need one. I got um, also got one of these scented wax melts. Ooh, it smells so good. It is... What's, what is it? It's um, iced lemon piscotti. Mm -hmm -hmm. I saw this and, you know, I'm always looking for something to get rid of those little crow's, crow's feet under my eyes there. So I saw that. I'm going to try that. Um, I saw this Pond's moisturizer cream for a buck twenty-five. I said, I'll try it. So I got that. Um, I got these little labels for stuff that I need to label. I got these. I love these um, 
these parchment paper sheets, them better than buying the roll. They're just so much more convenient. I hate the roll, it rips and you know, it's just too big. It's just, uh, just a pain in the ass. So I got, I saw those at the Dollar Tree and I remember that's where I got them last. I couldn't remember. And so I got a package of those. I got this, which I'm gonna go back and get another one because I should have got two because my son really liked this and I want to try it too. So I'll give, I'll let him have, I'll let him have it, but then I'll get another one and see how we like it. But for a buck 25, right? One of those adobo steak burrito bowl kits. Couldn't pass that up. Um, oh, I got those little hooks for Jenny's walls if we need some, because uh, we're going to be hanging some stuff up. Um, and guys, I got some fun stuff. Well, this isn't too fun, but I got uh, conditioner. I got shampoo. Julie's going to yell at me for getting this crap shampoo and conditioner because she says that it's crap and I should be buying it at the other store and, you know, because she's a hairdresser. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do. I got this for when Brody comes over in case they ever forget food for him because this is what he eats. He eats that moist, that moist package food. So I, I saw that there. I was like, oh, I'm going to keep that in the house for my grandson. I got a refill on um, hand soap. Guys, look at the fun things I got for Christmas. They have, that, they have some stuff. Not great stuff, but I got this. So cute. Santa and the reindeer. I got this little tray for chocolates for a little cheese board, like a little truck, truck, uh, ch 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 whatever it's called. I saw these again, and I always like to have a lot of Christmas cutouts. This was so cookie cutouts. This was so cute. I saw that cookies for Santa. One of these plates and another tray. The most wonderful time of the year. So, yeah, so I got some cute stuff. I got a couple of fun things. This is HelloFresh. We got uh, we got an order. What happened was I was, huh, yeah, somebody was telling me, don't forget to cancel it. I think it might have been Belinda Sparks. Somebody was telling me, I forget exactly who, whoever it was. Thank you, but yeah, uh, my daughter was supposed to cancel it. She forgot. So so they, they, they sent it to me. Um, so I ended up paying for it anyway. And then I canceled it. So it's canceled now after I paid another $72. But it's four servings, and um, they happen to choose the things that we got, which happens to be very good. There's um, one chicken dish, and then an, um, and then some sort of burger or something. So I figured, you know, got it, and that's it. I'm not going to order it again because it just doesn't it really doesn't pay. It's a little on the it's a little pricey, obviously, and it's just um, you know, there's no reason to have it. So I also got some greeting cards that I needed um, for a baby, and then for a. Um, for a, a birthday card. So, $91, $92. I should have stayed home, guys. I was like, oh, my God. I haven't been there in so long, though. And I got a lot of good stuff. I really did. Stuff to go in the freezer and the refrigerator. Basically, the freezer and the cabinets. And that's what I got. So, I'm going to go in there, put all the stuff away, and then I'll come back when, when I do. Um, I'll show you, show you the what's for dinner, what we're having for dinner, and all that. I'm going to leave this in one video. All right, I'll be back. All right, guys. So I think I'm going to make this Hello Fresh meal. I feel like something different. I, I, I'm just chickened out. I really am. And this is, um, this looks really good. White cheddar Wonder Burger with caramelized onions and fries. Um, yeah, so it doesn't look that difficult. Um, right. I don't see broccoli. Oh, um, if you have, you can save the potatoes. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to make the potatoes because you know why? They're going to have skin on them, and I don't think they like the skin, the thing in the butts in this house. So maybe I'll just make the burgers and the caramelized onions and maybe make them mac and cheese or something. I have asparagus in there from leftover. I don't know. Yeah. Um... Well, the potatoes look good. They give you the potatoes. They give you four. This is for for four. Four potatoes each. So that's a four, eight, twelve potatoes. Two onions for four. Two um, 
of the cheese pack, you know, the cheese. They give you four rolls and two mayonnaise, two ketchup, and then they give you Old Bay seasonings, and then they give you this um, Dijon mustard. Hmm. Yeah, it sounds good. I'm going to do it. All right, so let me get started with this stuff. Let me um cut the potatoes. Yeah, I'll just cut the potatoes and onions up. Let me get the um, cutting board and stuff for this meal. I have these I have to fill out. Um, what did I eat? What did I even eat today? I don't even know what I ate today. I just ate a bunch of little things. I didn't eat any, like, um, I don't even remember what I had for lunch today. Oh, I had two dumplings. For lunch. Um, then I had one of those little cheese with the um, little cheese and um, cranberry nut things. Um, and then I had a couple of those churro things. Um, <laughs> I think that's all I've eaten. So I am getting a little hungry now. So let's get cutting up. Let me get my uh, cutting boards. All right, guys. So what I decided to do was to just cut the skin off of this, off of this um, potatoes. This way, I'll just make them. They'll, they'll, they'll eat them then. The pain, but it is what it is. Because I don't want it to go to waste anyway. So I might as well do what I gotta do. Jenny just got home, so the, the quiet is now no longer. Those are uh, ponytails, too. Put those under the table there. I like you to have ponytails, too, because sometimes the scrunchies aren't tight enough. Yeah, but I love them. Well, I know. You can wear the scrunchie with the ponytail holders. Well, I'll put them right in here. All right. And I got you a chapstick because I know as soon as the weather starts getting warm, it gets cold again. Put the chapstick in there. Yeah. The you put it in your purse, maybe. Um, as soon as the weather starts getting chilly again it's like today was like 70 up in, in here in upstate new york i mean really like really come on it's it's freaking november 4th <laughs> mother nature is got some issues she's got some issues but we all do guys don't we don't we Okay, this isn't going to be perfect. I'm just going to take most of the skin oh, off. Give me kisses, Mom. Is it? Yes. Yeah. And I got to put the oven on 425. Yes. Hey, that's like my father. Well, we're coming in there. Watch him. Oh, so. Last night, guys, we were sitting in, well, you know, the other day. I, I heard something in the back room over here in the pantry. And I just heard, it sounded like, I don't know, things crunching up. And it sounded like it was a mouse, like in there or something. I something. Don't yeah, I know, honey. I'm, 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 like I know, I'm telling them. And so I didn't hear it again. And then yes, late yesterday, we were sitting in here, me and Jenny. And I, we hear some, we were in the living room and we hear some weird noises, like, you know noises and this and that and I said call my son out here and he's like what what I made him look around nothing here nothing here lock the doors and everything you know then he goes in his bedroom and guys I swear to god this is what me and Jenny hear no no joke whatsoever this is what we hear right like a woodpecker I call my son out here because I was like, "Come get out here, yeah!" Because every time he comes out, then it stops. You know what I mean? That's how one of the, that's how it goes when you when you hear something and then you call somebody out for it, and then all of a sudden you don't hear it anymore. He he heard it, so he's like, "I don't know what it is." So when Billy came home, he checked and everything. It, it, we, he couldn't find anything. You know, it sounded like it was coming behind the cabinets or something from the refrigerator. I don't I, under the refrigerator. I don't know where the hell it was coming from. But all I know is that it sounded like a woodpe woodpecker. And so um, then he heard it last night again. It was doing it again. 
And so this morning he, I don't know, he had uh, mouse traps, so he put them under there behind the refrigerator and stuff, so I don't know. It's probably like a field mice or something. Sometimes they get in. They, they have no bones, so they get in through, I don't know. All I know is I don't want to see no mice, mouse. I am petrified of mice, rats, mouse, There's all that stuff. So I don't even want to think about it, but, oh, yeah, it was funny. It was like, it was sounding like a woodpecker, and it's like, Jenny's like, Mom, there's a woodpecker in the house. So, uh, excitement. What are you doing, cutie pie? Put the oven on. Oh, my God, it's pretty, Mommy. Poopy said you're a good boy. Going to move this, put this here, spray it with some butter spray. Let's see something. Now, listen, guys, okay, we all, you know, I know that we eat more than we should, like at a sitting. But ha this can really be for four people. Like, I don't even know how that's going to work. It'll be fine for us because I don't eat a lot. I'm going to cut them like this. They're going to be like little, little fries. That's what they're going to be. Almost. So, uh, today was a better day. What? Tell them about my leg. Ken, Kenny had pains in her legs or in her leg earlier. Sometimes she gets pains in her legs, in her, in her bad side, her left side. Um, she's okay though. I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut these in half because I don't want these to take a long time to cook. Um, yeah, so cut these and then we'll season them. Season them up. I would say this is enough for probably either two children or or two adults. Two adults who eat normal portions. This is definitely my son and Jenny will have something else, or maybe Jenny will have some potatoes. Okay. Put some olive oil on them. Let's see what it says. Guys. Um, I said, da -da 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 -da, wash and drop, cut, cut potatoes, and some you know, veggies, have peel and thin leaves. Oh, they do say to peel them. Hmm. I didn't realize that. Okay. Cut potatoes into thick wedges, halves, peel, and thinly slice onion. Toss potatoes on a baking sheet with a drizzle of oil. I have half the old base seasoning. 
to use more later slightly um season lightly with salt and pepper no need season no need to season generously there's already salt and pepper in the seasoning okay all right sharpened broccoli oh so you can put broccoli in for potatoes if you want which is fine okay all right so a little bit of salt and pepper not a lot because this in the old base seasoning there is salt and pepper Let's open this. Mm, this looks yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. All right, so it says to cook these about 25 minutes. which is probably <coughs> good. So let's put this in. Alexa, start the timer. Alexa, set the timer for 25 minutes. 25 minutes, starting now. Okay. All right. Um, okay, now here's the onions. So thinly slice the onions. So, this is the meat here. Jenny won't eat the onions. Frank, you'll eat the onions. Thin. It says thin, so... Yummy, yummy, yummy. I got love in my tummy. I don't know why I'm saying that song. But I am. Onions, guys. Yeah, so the weather was 70 degrees today. What happened here? 70 degrees today. And it feels like it's April. Weird. Weird, weird, and weird. Hey, I'm not complaining now because I, I can't stand the cold. The freezing cold. I like fall. Fall and spring is my fave holiday and my holidays. My favorite seasonings. Don't like winter really. Dead of winter. Can't stand being freezing cold. Hate the snow. Don't like to be out in it. I like to watch it from the window. And as long as everybody's home safe and everything, then it's all good. Woo! Again, Scotty Scotsy moves. All right. Um, stay. All right, so toast potatoes and baking sugar. Okay, roast on top. Right? Okay, okay. Um, while uh, while potatoes roast, heat a large drizzle of oil in a medium, preferably nonstick pan over medium high heat. Add onion cooked, stirring occasionally until browned and softened. Okay, add one teaspoon of sugar. Oh, oh, that's how you caramelize them. Yeah. All right, so let me get the frying pan. Put that over here. And guys, this is the, the other meal that I have. It is um, sweet, sweet, sheet pan, Onion, Dijon, onion crunch chicken. 
That looks really good. I just didn't feel like making chicken tonight. I'm chicken out. We eat a lot of chicken, a lot, a lot of chicken. So we'll have that another night. Um, so, okay, so then I have to, to okay, I gotta put some olive oil in the pan. Then pan, okay, heat a large drizzle oil and medium, preferably non-stick pan over medium high heat and add onion cooked starting occasionally until browned and softened. Okay. That's why I put some olive oil in. One second, and then we'll, um, all right, let's see. Then, okay. Meanwhile, in a second small bowl, combine mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, and as much remaining Old Bay seasoning as you like. Set aside. Form beef into two equal size balls from four balls for four servings. Size balls, four balls for four servings. Season all over with salt and pepper. Uh, one thing. Oh, you put them in the frying pan that I'm going to do the other stuff in after that's done. Oh. They look yummy, guys, don't they? Okay, let's get the onions out over there. Oh, Jesus. I'm spilling stuff, but you know, that's the way I do things. You know that's the way Linda does things. read it again because you know I always have to read things three or four times before I comprehend before I comprehend it <laughs> um all right okay meanwhile a second bowl combined ketchup mayo and mustard okay ketchup So I'm definitely going to make the four burgers because my son will probably have two. Um, so let me get a bowl. Mm. I didn't realize how hungry I am. I'm really hungry. Betty hungry. All right, let's go do this one. So I'm going to put all of these in here because, like I said, I'm making all four burgers, so we're going to need all the sauce. That's... Now, don't get me wrong. I like, you know, these meals and all that, but I am not big. I'm just not big on recipes, like... I mean, obviously, obviously, if I have to follow a recipe, I'll follow a recipe if I want, whatever. But I usually do things by the fly, you know, by the by the seat in my pants. Like, that's just the way I cook. That's just the kind of cook I am. So, it, it literally, it actually causes me a little bit of stress when I know I have to do 
follow a recipe because um, I'm not good at it. <laughs> I'm just not. I'm just not. Like, it gives me a little anxiety having to worry about putting everything in together and gotta read the recipe and I, I'm just, I'm just not that kind of person. But, you know, when I bake, I do that. I have to follow the recipe, so, you know, you have to do it sometimes. And if you wanna do it, you do it. If you don't, you don't. All the sauce, all the stuff goes in here. Dijon mustard, ketchup, and mayo, and then the Old Bay seasoning. And it says put in as much as you like, so I don't know how much. I don't want it to be really spicy. I don't know if it's spicy because Jenny won't like it. But maybe I just won't put it. I just won't put it on hers. I just won't put this sauce on hers. Ooh. Guys, I'm telling you, if I'm not making a mess, let me check the, let me check the, um, the onion so they don't burn. Took it off that flame and I put it on the other flame to lower it. Mix in this now. Look at that, guys. Let's taste it. Mmm. Mmm. I like that. Well, that's really yummy. Very, very yummy. A little strong a little strong but very good let's throw this out Very good. Put this aside. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Now this is 85 lean, 15% fat. I usually get 80 20, but it'll be fine. So, okay, what else does it say here? Um, do you want a potatoes or do you want macaroni and cheese? No, I have, yeah, I have, like, french fries I'm making. I want mac and cheese and french fries. Listen, Jen, really? Please. What do you think? This is Applebee's? If I he does. Please. All right, shh. Okay, one second. All right, he's just a little, okay, that's what I mean. All right, um, mustard and as much remaining old bases as you like set aside. Form beef into equal size rolls. Season over and with salt and pepper. Oh, okay. Salt and pepper. Um, let me take these over here. I'm gonna check the. 
trees are doing good. I'll make macaroni and cheese for them. I'm basically going to have, I'll have a couple of potatoes and I'll have asparagus. And I'll probably have a quarter of the burger. It's not going to be a lot. I just have to add a little bit of sugar to it. I'm not going to add, I'm just going to add a drop. Like, I mean, like a little drop. All right, so then it says here to, so I'm just going to like score this here for four because it makes four burgers. So. These are not going to be huge burgers, but it's okay. Salt, pepper. Salt, pepper. This one has to be a little. And it just says to make some balls. Balls. I'm going to shut those onions off now because I don't want them to get burnt. This one needs a little bit more meat on it. Poke a little hole in the middle so it doesn't explode. A little hole, a little hole, a little hole. A little whole end. I know it says only salt and pepper, but really, come on. I gotta put a little garlic powder, onion powder on my burgers. I'm sorry. Very, very, very sorry. <laughs> Let's throw this out. Let me wash my hands, guys. A little bit of garlic. These look yummy, don't they? Just on one side. That was garlic. This is onion. Yum. Oh, I'm going to take the onions out of there and um, put the burgers in. And I'll show you guys. So there are the onions, guys. Whoops. There are the onions. I put a, a drop of sugar um, and I put a little piece of butter and a little splash of water. And here are the potatoes. They're very close to being done. Alexa, how much longer on the timer? 
You have three minutes and 30 okay, seconds three minutes. left on your 25 minutes. And this time. is going to come up to a boil, and I'll put the macaronis in for their macaroni and cheese. Aren't they so cute, guys? Oh, my God, I'm so excited. So excited for Christmas and Thanksgiving and all that, guys. So excited. Hi, Sienna. I know I have issues. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. These look so freaking yummy. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Let's check and see if, um, how these are faring over here. Let's see. Okay, another couple of minutes. Yeah, they're just about done. I would say in about three, four minutes. Like they'll be done. The onions are gonna be done. We'll put the pasta in. Have no patience for that. Alexa, set the timer for ten minutes. Second timer, ten minutes, starting now. Okay, so in ten minutes, guys. Everything will be ready. Like I said, I am going to, um, I'm going to have leftover asparagus with um, my food. And I'll have just a couple of potatoes. And, oh, I got to stop. I got to get the burgers going. Hello. Hello, Linda. Are you sleeping over here? <laughs> yeah, I am sleeping. I am sleeping. Where is my, uh, there's too many chefs in the kitchen, guys. All right, let's get these onions. Yum, yum, oh. And now I'm gonna put the burgers on here. I'm gonna put the burgers here. The burgers are getting cooked now. All right, guys. Let's go. a little bit. I got a little bit of stuff on the table here. Okay, so let's see, guys. Um, so it says... Okay. Um, can you use for, you know, once the pan is hot, add ye, firmly flatten. All right, so it says, um, heat, once the pan is hot, add ye, firmly flatten each ball with a spatula to create very thin patties. Oh, tip, do so carefully, oil may splatter, cook to desired doneness, three to four minutes per side. Um, I can't see him. My husband's not here, and my son is in and out. Sorry about that, guys. I just have to put things where they go. 
for now until Billy gets home and he'll fix it. These potatoes, let me take those potatoes. <laughs> let me take the potatoes out because I'm pretty sure they're done. Look at those. Those look so yummy. Yep. Goes right through them. Mm, 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 mm. Those look so delicious. Delicious. While patties cook, have and toast. Oh, we can toast the buns if you want. The buns toasted. I gotta ask my son if he wants the buns. Put the bun here. Put the bun here. See. They look good, guys. They look really, 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 really good. Just gonna put a little bit on my garlic on each side. So what they say is. Mix this up. Mm. Mm. I don't know. I think they could cook it in a minute, guys. Yeah, I think they're good. I think they're good. They definitely have a little spice to them. I don't think Jenny would be crazy about them. From the old bag. I tell you, these are nice four side burgers. Like, really, this is a normal portion. I will eat half of the burger. Half, half. And then I'll eat probably the other half a couple hours later. You know, pick at it or whatever. Um, and I'm probably going to. I don't know if I'm going to have the roll. I, obviously, the roll is going to fill me up. I can't really have the roll. I'm probably going to do it out the roll. Because it's carbs and it's, but if I have potatoes and the roll, it's not going to be good. So, I'll probably just have the roll. I mean, just have the burger. But that's okay. That's alright. That's okay. It's going to be delicious anyway. Yeah. <clears throat> um, let me open the macaroni and cheese. The cheese thing. And then it says to, and caramel, okay, so what you do is divide the buns between plates and fill with patties, caramelized onion, and half the special sauce. Serve burgers with obey fries on the side and remaining special sauce for dipping. Okay. And you can do whatever you want now. Do whatever you like. These are looking so yummy. Mm. It's amazing, guys, because I literally take a bite of this and I'll be done. Sometimes it 
looks a little sad <laughs> to me. Sometimes I want to eat more, you know? It's hard because you can't, you know? And if you do, you're going to suffer for it. So that's the whole thing. All right, guys, so here we are. I was looking for my hollandaise sauce it's in the refrigerator somewhere. I don't know where the heck it is. I can't find it. So guess what? I'm not searching for it. I'm going to go eat. I'll show you when I'm done. I guarantee you. I will be eating half of this and even less. All right, guys. So this is what I ate. Let me show you. Like I said, I've been picking at it. It's been about a half hour, 40 minutes. This is what I've eaten. So I ate the three or four potatoes that I did have, the asparagus. And I've been, like I said, I've been p picking on the burger. Um, so um, either I'll wait it here, keep it here for a little bit longer and just pick at it. Or I'll end up being done with it. Um, I don't know. I'm feeling it. Feeling full, so. I'm not going to push it because I don't want to have any issues. So, anyway, this is the video for this today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the Dollar Tree haul. I hope you enjoyed um, this Hello Fresh meal. It was it was it was delicious. Really simple to make. Um, and yeah, so that's what was here. That's what I had for have for you guys today. So listen, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because when you subscribe, it really does help my channel grow, and I so, so appreciate it. You have no idea how I appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the notification button with the bell so you guys can be notified every time I upload a new video. And like, share, and don't forget to comment down below. Don't forget about questions for the Q&A. It's probably going to be in the beginning of next week. So if you have any questions, jot them down, and I'll jot them down, and... I'll just answer them. All right, guys. So we'll see you on the next video. Bye. Bye, guys. See you on the next one.